Hello Tritons! On behalf of the Division of Student Affairs and the entire UMSL campus, we want to share how excited we are to see you. Whether you're joining our Triton family for the first time or returning for another year at UMSL, we look forward to seeing you and helping you navigate your college experience. Fall 2020 definitely looks much different than anyone would have expected, but our campus is committed to the health and safety of our students, faculty, and staff, and we want to be sure that you are ready for the fall semester. You may be learning with us through online instruction or joining us on campus for blended learning courses. No matter how you're attending this fall, we're glad you're a part of the Triton community. To be sure you're ready for what the fall semester looks like at OMSL, we've asked some of our fantastic student leaders to show you around campus and to provide you with tips and tricks for returning to learning with us. Hi everyone, my name is Charlotte Richards. I'm from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. My name is Leah Spears. I am from Steel, Missouri. My name is Mary-Kate Soule. I'm a supply chain major here at UMSL. And today we will be showing you what UMSL will look like after coming back to campus. One of the most important things we can do to ensure the health and safety of our campus community is be informed. UMSL has created the Start Safe, Stay Safe website www.umsel.edu slash stay safe as a one-stop location for campus policies, safety expectations, and community resources. On the website, you'll find links to the campus face covering policy, information on what to do if you're experiencing symptoms of COVID-19, and student FAQs about everything from coursework changes to campus dining hours and shuttle service details. You'll also find helpful links to student health and wellness resources, support services for student learning, and contact information for key offices that can assist you throughout the semester. Students, faculty, and staff are expected to self-monitor their health on a daily basis for COVID-19 symptoms, including fever, cough, loss of smell or taste, difficulty breathing, and fatigue. To track your health, use the Campus Screen app before visiting campus or leaving the residence hall. Links to download the Campus Screen app can be found under the Students tab of the Start Safe, Stay Safe website. Campus Screen will lead you through a series of questions related to potential systems, recent contact with others who may have been experiencing symptoms or diagnosed with COVID-19, and possible travel. At the end of the question set, you will receive a Campus Pass if you are healthy and able to join us on campus for that day. If you are experiencing symptoms or have had contact with a person identified as testing positive, please do not come to campus. Instead, report your diagnosis or symptoms to the campus using the Report COVID-19 Diagnosis Symptoms form on the Stay Safe website. The form will be directed to the campus health officer who will follow up with you and discuss your symptoms and next steps. Keeping social distance between you and others is the best tool we have to avoid being exposed to COVID-19. When you return to campus this fall, You'll notice that social distance has been created in many locations such as classroom spaces, the residential hall lobby, and the dining area in the Millennial Student Center by removing or adjusting the space and the furniture. Individuals should always maintain social distance in other common spaces such as recreation areas, elevators, and stairwells. Remember that six feet of distance is essentially two arm lengths of space between you and someone else in all directions. Face coverings are an additional step to help slow the spread of COVID-19. Students, faculty, and staff, and campus visitors are required to wear a face covering when entering or occupying a physical building or other university facility. Face coverings are also required on the campus shuttle and in outdoor locations where maintaining six feet of social distance is not feasible. You'll see instructors wearing face shields when teaching in-person classes and you'll see staff wearing face coverings when working in common areas of residential halls, student rooms, and all campus dining facilities. If you have a health or disability related concern that prevents you from wearing a face covering, please contact Disability Access Services for support. Students are expected to supply and maintain their own face coverings. However, the university will have face coverings available for those who are unable to provide their own. If you forget your face covering, you can always purchase one at the Triton store. Practicing good hygiene is another way to slow the spread of COVID-19. Be sure to cover your cough or sneeze. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. And wash your hands. 
Trident should frequently wash their hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. So how long is 20 seconds? Try singing happy birthday twice, or if you're burnt out on happy birthdays by now, the chorus to Lizzo's Truth Hurts or Beyonce's Love on Top. You can even sing somewhere over the rainbow. The point is to be sure to wash your hands thoroughly and pay attention to all sides, including your fingertips. You'll also find hand sanitizer stations throughout campus to ensure you are able to clean your hands even when soap and water are not easily available. You will also see other small changes to physical spaces around campus. For instance, water fountains will be offline this fall, but we are increasing the number of water bottle filling stations around campus, which is a big win for sustainability. In restrooms throughout campus, you'll notice foot poles on the bottom of the doors that enable you to exit without coming into contact with multi-touch surfaces. And we have installed plexiglass shields in many of the customer service areas in order to create distance between staff and students. All these little changes add up to a safer and healthier campus environment for our Triton community. We know there's a lot to remember when you're coming on campus, so we've developed some helpful signage to assist you in navigating physical spaces on campus. The entrances to all buildings will have signs reminding you to wear your face coverings and how to keep yourself and others at low risk to exposure to COVID-19. You'll see entrance only and exit only signs, and you'll see up only and down only signs at the stairwells to keep traffic moving in one direction. There will also be Triton Stand Here floor decals to assist you in maintaining social distance when waiting in lines. All of our signs are designed to remind our Tritons of safe practices and make your time on campus less stressful. Before you join us on campus this fall, all students will need to complete an online safety training which goes over items we've already discussed such as social distancing, face coverings, and symptom monitoring. The training module is available in Canvas and students are expected to complete it by August 24th. The new semester is right around the corner and the faculty and staff at UMSL are ready to welcome you. You've learned a lot about what to expect when you come to campus, but we know new questions may come up or new challenges may arise. Don't forget to download the UMSL app for additional information about campus and to check your UMSL email frequently for updates about campus operations and student resources, not to mention important messages from your instructors. And remember, the staff in the Division of Student Affairs is always here to help you. Welcome back, Tritons.